Oh guys, I'm a bit behind making videos. How do we turn this bloody TV on? Oh, AV1, isn't it? Oh, we'll have to cut to the weather boys. And 7% girls, don't forget. Hello there. Well, as you can see, things are warming up nicely. Spring is finally here. However, we've got a bank holiday weekend coming up and it could be a bit iffy, so it might be a perfect opportunity for getting out of doing that garden. At the moment though, we've got perfect evening for bonfires. Um, into the following week, doesn't look too bad, although there's some pretty hazardous conditions to come. And this is my special guest area. It is fit for purpose. So the thing was boys, on the last video, we thought we'd done that high voltage transformer in. I know, it's ages ago now. But I finally got the top off, and we're going to have a little look at it. <coughs> oh, pardon me, it's that booze. Health and safety. That's what it said. Anyway, there's our transformer. It survived. Unbelievable. Um, the problem we had was a bit of a flashover from the um, cable what goes to the top of those bushings. Well, we couldn't resist it. It uh, looks like we've got a bit of high voltage on the go. This very app is set at 30 volts. And we get uh, a mildly impressive output. 30 volts to start with. No, like that all day, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. It would be stupid with it then. I ain't gonna flinch at that. It's a job I trust you, isn't it? <laughs> I don't. Right, I'm gonna start winding that dial up a bit. Mm, so you see what 80 volts does. I'd give it a quick drive, I'd pop this mod for it. There you go, there's your FHP. <laughs> <laughs> Little blasts like that don't do it any harm. No. So you've got to be brutal with these things. What's right. that up to now? This is stupid bolts. Clear? Yeah, clear. Yeah. FHP. You like that? That is... <laughs> Takes lots. it, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah. See, boys. Oh, that didn't sound good. That no, one. that didn't. <laughs> oh, oh. No transformer, boys. Oh. So, that really didn't sound good. No, that's, that's the end of that transformer. But the transformer has survived, luckily. We need to do an oil change because it's uh, a bit browner than what it should be because it's been contaminated. But with a nice new top assembly on it, I think that will uh, suffice and it will work just as good. So I was very lucky there. No damage done. We didn't get a mega volt. We ended up with about 500 to 600 kV. And I shall show you some charts where you can calculate how much voltage you've got from the spark gap. And these come from a high voltage university. Indisputable. See, that's your usual shot, boys, and I got a bit bored with that.